Hello all, a warm welcome to everyone tuning in to the Oracle IM Insights session today. Today's topic is Oracle IM 11G to 12C Upgrade Workshop. My name is Anbu Anbarasu, Director with Cloud Center of Excellence. In this presentation, we are gonna look at an introduction to Oracle Live Labs. We will be going over the Oracle Identity and Access Management Upgrade Workshop. We'll go over the details of how we can access the workshop and run the workshop. Finally, we'll wrap up the session with a quick demo of the upgrade workshop. What is Oracle Live Labs? Oracle Live Labs provides access to a vast array of Oracle's tools and technologies. Oracle Live Labs is provided as online and ready to run workshops. These workshops are great for trying out new capabilities in a real world environment. They're great for getting hands-on training. They can perform proof of concept construction in Oracle Live Labs. Using Oracle Live Labs, you can perform demonstrations and rapid prototyping. Essentially, Oracle Live Labs is a cloud-based platform provided by Oracle to try out new technologies and tools on Oracle Cloud. One of the workshops available on Oracle Live Labs is the Oracle IAM Upgrade Workshop. This is an unlisted workshop, which means that you cannot find it by searching on Oracle Live Labs platform, but you can easily get access to this workshop by contacting your Oracle sales representative or partner. This is a workshop that gives you the experience of upgrading Oracle IAM 11.1.2.3 to 12.2.1.4. The idea is to give you real life experience of a full upgrade cycle using the Oracle published upgrade advisor documentation as well as other upgrade documentations. This upgrade workshop is using an in-place upgrade strategy and an integrated single node deployment strategy. What it means is all the three major components of Oracle IAM, including the directory services, identity management, and access management all are integrated into a single node deployment. This is a great way to experience the upgrade process to upgrade your Oracle IAM from 11.1.2.3 to 12.2.1.4. It's really straightforward to register for this workshop. Once you get your event code and the URL, you can go to the URL provider. You will see two main options there. One is a gray button option, which is run on your tenancy. The other one is a green button option, which says that you can reserve the workshop on Live Labs platform. We recommend you to choose the second option, the reserve workshop on Live Labs. It'll provide a start time for the workshop, or you can reserve it immediately. When you click on the reserve workshop on Live Labs, you will be asked to provide your public SSH key. If you do not have one, you can create a SSH key pair and provide the public key to begin the workshop. Once you provide your SSH key, and if you want to start the lab immediately, you can choose that option and you reserve the workshop. As soon as you reserve the workshop, you will start receiving a bunch of emails. Initially, you will receive an email saying that your reservation is being processed. It will provide you updates periodically on if your environment has been created or not. When your environment is ready, you will receive an email that says that your Live Labs environment is ready. It will provide the time remaining to complete your workshop. Note that this is just initial time. The initial time limit for this particular workshop is 60 hours. This workshop can be extended for, to four times of 15 hours each. So essentially you can run this workshop for a total of 120 hours. In order to launch the workshop, you click on the link provided. And you will see that the 
details of this workshop are provided in this next page. You will see the login URL to log into the console, the tenancy name, the region where the workshop is created, your temporary username and the initial password, the compartment where you will find your instance, the compartment OSID, and your public IP address for the instance that you're gonna be using. You can click the launch console and log in using the credentials provided and quickly verify the environment. The instructions to verify the environments are also provided to you. Step-by-step -step instructions are provided for you to upgrade Oracle IAM 11G to 12C. We provide pointers to upgrade documentation rather than providing the content and duplicating it here. Please follow the instructions carefully in order for you to complete the upgrade process. You would be initially creating a proactive SR to get the event code and the URL. And if you have any questions or any issues, please update the same SR. And one of our Oracle support representatives will respond with the resolution. At the end of the lab, once you complete the upgrade process, you can terminate all the resources. If you haven't completed or if you just leave the lab, it will be terminated at the time of expiration. As I mentioned before, the lab can be extended for up to 120 total hours. At the end of 120 total hours, the lab will terminate automatically. If you finish the lab earlier, or if you don't need it anymore, please terminate the workshop so that all the resources associated with the workshop will be released. Let's take a quick look at the demo of the workshop. So when you go to the Oracle Live Labs page for this particular workshop, you will see the details of this workshop. You will see the title of the workshop at the top, Oracle IAM 11G in place upgrade to 12C workshop, and a short description of the workshop and the workshop length. It's gonna show you the initial duration of the workshop, which is 60 hours or two days and 12 hours. The workshop outline can be found on the right side, as well as the workshop details. There are two major options for this workshop. One is run on your tenancy, which provides you an option to run this workshop on your tenancy using Oracle Terraform scripts. And the second option is to reserve the workshop on Live Labs. Let's click that button and see that option. And your time zone can be changed here. There is a start workshop now checkbox. If you want to start the workshop immediately, you can check this box. Or if you want to start the workshop at a later time, you can set schedule the time over here. Your public SSH key needs to be provided in this box here. If you do not have a public SSH key, please create your SSH key using these instructions provided. There's a small link provided here right above this text box. Using that you can create the SSH key pair. The tool will generate a private key and a public key. Please cut and paste the public SSH key in this box here. Once you have this information, you can click this checkbox here and submit the reservation. As soon as you submit the reservation, you will be sent an email saying that your reservation is being processed. Within about five minutes, the environment will be created and you will receive an email that says that the environment is ready to be used. Once you have the environment ready to be used, you can go and launch the workshop. When you launch the workshop, it will take you to this documentation, which are the detailed step-by-step -step instructions that gives you the upgrade process It'll have the step one to through step five, which will take you through the upgrade process.
just follow these instructions. You will begin with lab one, which is generating SSH keys. Lab two would be preparing the setup. Lab three is the environment setup. The environment setup will make sure that you have the 11G base image set up and you have an environment to work on. And 11, in, in, in lab five, you will go over the upgrade process through all these five steps. Thank you again for tuning in to today's Oracle IM Insight session. We look forward to seeing you at the next one.